Hi, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I'm the Emperor of the Universe, and as the universe is a big place and you travel in it, which I am currently doing, you have to have supplies and, and things that help you along the way. And so I have some tips I want to throw out real quick. Ziploc baggies. I get the one quart freezer baggies. They work great for storing leftover foods or if you have, you, like I buy a lot, like three or four chicken breasts at a time. And I'll cook them all at once and then I'll bag up half of it and I'll portion it up, that kind of thing. So <clears throat> it works great for just keeping ch cheese and whatever in dry. And then uh, tin foil, always a great idea for cooking. What I do is I line my pans and cook inside the tin, tin foil and then basically I don't have to clean. It saves on water and soap. And here's another, just a simple tip. Get a foldable um, military shovel. This thing actually got uh, one of those sprinters. It was stuck in the, it was stuck in the sand at Chiriaco Summit and the dude literally dug out the, their vehicle. It was down to the axle. And they actually dug it out and got it out with that. So basically that's a survival tool. And here's another cool thing to do. And these are um, scented baggies that you can get at any major department store. They're like in the, you know, the, the towel and the laundry, whatever. You know, so for paper towels and all shit. Anyway, so this is um, lemon scented and there's also lavender, which is awesome. And of course you want light, you know, lighter that kind of stuff. Anyway, so basically this is another great tip. This is just a sprayer. You can buy it at any dollar store, whatever, or whatever, Walmart. And it has 90% alcohol in it and water. And it's two to one. So two parts water to one part 90% alcohol. And it works great to clean your hands. So these are little tips that you want to have. Another tip I also recommend is get one of these little speakers. Great for your phone because it turns your phone into a jukebox and you can listen to music whenever you're going, which I love. And other tips, paper towels. I One of my favorite little victories, but I can afford paper towels, a six pack, you know what I mean? because they're coming handy for everything. Literally, I use them to, to as a paper, when I take showers, I will dry off with paper towels. Only because if you're traveling like now and I'm not gonna have to do laundry for a week, I don't want a wet towel in my vehicle. It just It's just not a good idea. It gets mold and stinky and all that crap. So what you do is you just take paper towels, and maybe six or seven paper towels, literally, you know, pieces will be enough to dry you off. And you can, you know, squeeze. the cool part is you just squeeze it and then you can keep drying off. And like I said, you can serve, but at the same time, it keeps you from having wet towels in your vehicle. Always a great tip. Other things, you, you know, you, gas, you always want to try to put premium. I hate to say it, and especially nowadays when it's, it's 5.30 right here. And they just jumped up 30 cents. But premium will keep your engine running better than it would on regular. I'm just saying that's, especially if you're a full-time traveler and you, and you want your baby to keep running, right? So you want to take care of her. Always check the oil, keep the oil level, you know, all the maintenance on the car, what else? Water. Now, this is one of the tips. I tell people, you can't, these are cheap. These are like a dollar at, you know, Walmart or whatever. Get like 14 of them. It sounds ridiculous, but if you're stuck in a desert and you have two weeks worth of canned food and two weeks worth of drinking water, you're going to be chilling. You ain't going to be tripping. Otherwise, you're going to be thinking, how the hell am I going to, you know what I mean? That kind of shit. You don't have to be like Survivor where you're eating bugs and you're drinking your urine. That's not cool. We don't want that. Let's just avoid that in our travel, shall we? Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Just budget yourself. Uh, canned food is wonderful. If you can't do meat, there's a lot of bean varieties and it's, it gets old, but use spices. Spices. That's like I say. Lots of fruits and vegetables. And yeah. And nuts and grains and stuff like that. I don't know. Anyway. So that's it. That's all I got. Tips for the road. Yeah. Watch yourself. There's a lot of places that I'll you know take you in and like rec centers if you need to take a shower that's gonna remind me um truck stops and rec centers in towns are great places to take showers they charge rec center actually rec centers are cheaper than truck stops the truck top truck stops excuse me they put and they give you the whole nine yards you, you get your own toilet you get your own you know they give you towels it's usually like 10 bucks or 15 whatever <clears throat> so that's and RV parks will do the same some some RV parks will allow you just to take a shower and you pay them five bucks or ten bucks or whatever so yeah, just something to think about in the RV park at, um, in the <clears throat> in the Monument Valley. Um, yeah, the KOA there is amazing. And their bathroom, like I said, if you look at my videos when I was in Monument Valley, man, the, the KOA there, they rebuilt this bathroom. And it has a laundry room and it has a huge men's and women's bathrooms. 
and showers and so I mean you walk into it and it looks like a five-star hotel shower bathroom is ridiculous anyway so yeah anyways happy travels um, good luck and be safe and live in love and light and even on rainy days when you're by yourself hanging out in your vehicle just think happy thoughts and be and do your positive affirmations I love you and thank you that kind of thing and and sun will shine baby the sun will shine so happy travels again I love you. Goodbye. Okay,